हेलो एवरी वन मैंने मीज आनंद कुमार झा एंड यू आर वॉचिंग कोड विथ आनंद सो इन द प्रीवियस फ्यू वीडियोज वी वे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द डेटा रैप्टर डेटा रैप्टर द टूल्स विच इज यूज टू एक्सट्रैक्ट और पोस्ट द डेटा सोर्सेज डेटा फ्राम फ्राम एक्सट्रैक्ट फ्राम सेल्स फोर्स और पोस्ट टू सेल्स फोर्स फ्राम नाउ ऑन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ओमनी स्टूडियो इंटीग्रेशन प्रोसीजर वट इज इंटीग्रेशन प्रोसीजर हाउ वी कैन यूज दैट or how we can use data uh, adapter into the integration procedure what kind of action we can use under the integration procedure we are going to talk all about that in this video so uh, yeah let's uh, open our org so we already have here uh, our org open so uh, let me just give you some uh, brief uh, definition for the integration procedure so integration procedure are just a declarative server side process that uh, execute multiple actions in single server call means in single call they can execute multiple actions so in the same actions like uh, integration procedure can write read data from salesforce or from external system from external system you have to use the uh, rest api where you can use remote action to call that or uh, you can use apex uh, apex code as well to call through the integration procedure or uh, integration procedure can also be called from uh, from an omni uh, script an api or uh, apex method you can also call uh, omni uh, into omni studio integration procedure through the apex code as well or can be used a data source for flex card you can use it under flex card as well so integration procedure are optimal when you need to access the data to transform and from third party sources and uh, no user interaction is required so moving the workload from client server to desirable so omni uh, omni uh, integration procedure can do some things like uh, that omni script can't do so in most of the important of his list are like uh, processing the loop blocks or list action so sometimes we have to use looping like uh, uh, create order of or, or delete order for multiple oli uh, order line item in that case you have to use the loop actions perform some looping so you can do through that uh, omni's uh, omni studio integration procedure so now let's see how we are going to create the integration procedure for that you have to just click on this drop down and click here on uh, omni studio integration procedure so now you will get here multiple uh, uh, by default created omni uh, omni studio integration procedure by the sales force so we are going to create new integration procedure so let me tell you how you can create the new integration procedure so to create new integration procedure we have to follow the same approaches we have to click on new here once you click on new you it will ask you to name and the type and subtype so that is mandatory so you have to give that type and subtype so yeah let it be open so type and subtype like a top level node for the velocity integration procedure under which you want uh, any integration procedure listed so and then you can give the description as well if you want to uh, uh, tell someone that why this integration procedure is used and uh, yeah we will tell you so let's see we are going to name this integration procedure as get account details demo and we are going to use here type as a you can use multiple times it is by default given here i am going to use as poc and the subtype as same as a name so now you, want, you can't uh, if you try to add here you can't add it until you save this integration procedure so you need to click on this save button once this integration procedure is saved then you can click and uh, uh, extract the actions into the interface structure so you can see here we have groups and action under the groups we have cache block conditional block loop block try catch block so we can use these block and under the action you can find batch action calculation action uske baad chatted action data adapted action data adapted post transform turbo delete docu sign envelop email action through which you can send the email integration procedure uh, you can use integration procedure under the integration procedure itself so uh, this is the flexibility and intelligence action then list action matrix omni form remote action response and http action so these actions you can call through the integration process we were we are going to talk about all these actions in brief in coming videos 
so let's suppose right now we are, we just need this integration procedure to extract the account details okay so in this integration procedure i am going to use one uh, data adapter extract which we already created in the previous video so let me extract you can just click on this uh, action here and extract to this structure part it will automatically uh, extract here under the interface name you need to pass here which data uh, data adapter you are going to use so under this one i am going to use get account so we am going to use poc get account details so you can click here so it will automatically select the uh, particular data adapter then you can name this data adapter uh, uh, according to your uh, requirement so i am giving this dr name as a dr underscore this data adapter name so now it uh, this data adapter needs also the some input so that it can fetch the uh, data from the salesforce so if you click here in this link button it will open the particular data adapter which you uh, implemented in this uh, integration procedure so i am just going to see that under extract what filter value i passed here so it is this data adapter is accepting the account id so you can just copy this account id and you can pass the account id here you can pass two ways two ways first input parameter source where you have to put the data source and filter value filter value is going to whatever uh, used in the data adapter this value this account id and the data source what you are going to provide through this preview here so that way and the same way you can pass if you don't want to pass input parameter through here you can pass through here as well send additional input so if you want to send it from here you can do it here and you can click on send additional input if you want to pass only particular input should pass to this dr and then you have to pass the value what value you want to pass for this dr this is accepting the account id if you go to this dr it's accepting the filter value as account id so account id and then here you need to give the particular value which you are going to pass through the preview so i am uh, and for that you need to use this percentile symbol under that account id you need to pass now i want to see as well what input this uh, integration procedure is extracting so for that you can use response section here to see what value you are getting so for that what you can do you can just copy the name from here and under the response section you can pass two way you can pass either here as well it will return the only particular input and if you want to return in a new node whatever uh, required node you want you can pass through here as well so I, right now i'm just passing from here and let's see if we have any idea you need to activate the integration procedure as well to see the value or uh, if you don't want to activate directly you can see as well so let me open any account so that uh, i can show you uh, is it what value it's getting so let me open this account now i am going to uh, copy the account id okay and uh, in this integration procedure what you can do you can go to the preview as the input parameter which you pass into the filter uh, percentiles and account id and under that you have to pass the account id and click on execute it will fetch all the details which this data adapter used to fetch so you can see that it's fetching account under id and name it's just fetching the id and name but this way you can add the input parameter which details you want to fetch and you will get through here so right now I think in the, under this account only ID and name is present, account number, status and number employee no, not present. So that's why it's just returning the account ID and name. Let me search if the uh, other details are present in this account or not. So you can click go here and uh, pass the value and pass the parameter. So you can see all the value we are getting through the integration procedure and we can use this integration procedure under the flex card and omni script as well and to use that you have to use the activate this uh, omni uh, integration procedure so for that activating that you can click on this one activate once you activate that only then you can use under the flex card or as well as omni script if you don't activate you will get error that uh, uh, integration procedure is not activated so for today's video uh, it's just a, a, a small introduction related to integration procedure how we can use that from next video we are going to talk about the different kind of action what we, we can perform through the integration procedure so now you can see that it's activated and you can't make any changes so you can use this integration procedure to 
पर्टिकुलर फ्लेक्स कार्ड और डेटा एडेप्टर थैंक यू थैंक